The white flash of fruits is always a challenge to paint, but don't worry, keep watching for my solution. Hi, I'm Siti Nureti from Siti Nureti Studio. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I solve the challenging problem of painting the white flesh. So let's get started. When you really look at this photo, you will notice that the peach's core is the darkest value in the photo. So my rule is to start your coloring with the darkest value object first, the peach's core. Then color the medium value object, which in this case is the shadow. Finally, paint the lightest value object, the peach. This is the line drawing for the white peach. First, turn the paper over and shade the line drawing with an 8B pencil. By doing this, you create a copy of the peach. Now secure the drawing paper onto the shaded paper with masking tape. Turn it over and trace the line drawing. Once you're done, turn the paper over, remove the masking tape, and you'll see that the line drawing has transferred onto the paper. Before you start, it's best to erase the pencil marks from the paper surface with putty. To prevent the pencil lines from disappearing, I trace them lightly with colored pencils. I use chartreuse for the peach and mahogany red for the pit. Let's start the initial wash with carmine red. You should always start your coloring with very light pressure. Then add a second wash with burnt ochre, also with light pressure and using a vertical stroke. Now we're going to model the texture on the pit with mahogany red using medium pressure. Follow the reference photo when you do this part. Next, I layer Tuscan red to create depth in the center of the peach. Also, to increase the shadows and the indentations of the pit's darkest areas, use dark brown and black. Once again, layer carmine red to bring out the redness of the pit. Before I begin with the shadow, I erase the pencil line slightly with putty. Then I start layering the first wash with French gray 50% using light pressure. Next, for a second wash, layer with chocolate using light pressure. Now model the shadows with French gray 70% using medium pressure and blend the colors evenly. I use dark brown to darken the layers for the shadows under the peach. Go back to French gray 50% to smooth the edges of the shadows with really light pressure. Now we're going to color the peach. First, wash it with cream using light pressure and a circular stroke. Layer the next wash using jasmine, leaving out the areas around the center of the peach as it's the lightest area on the fruit. I continue with chartreuse on the edges of the peach with really light pressure. I add hot pink and layer lightly around the pit, adding the traces of pink on the surfaces and the edges of the peach. I also define the edges by darkening them with burnt ochre and mahogany red. Layer the edges with chartreuse lightly once more to brighten up the flesh of the peach. Finally, I use black to increase the contrast. I darken the center of the peach, the shadows under it, and the pit. Here's the finished painting of the white peach. Get the free three-page booklet to start this painting today and let me know your results. Do you have questions about this tutorial? Post them in the comments below. I hope I've inspired you through this video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to City Nureti Studios blog. Let me help you unlock your creative side so you can start working towards becoming the artist you always dreamed of being. I'll see you next time and thank you so much for watching City Nureti Studio.